This part of the training will deal with practical measurements on the power transformer. It will show how to perform the measurement and how to analyze it. Dirana can measure the dielectric response of practically all types of high voltage insulation. The first example will be the bushings. The diagram shows how moisture affects the dissipation factor of resin impregnated paper bushings. Its value was initially measured in the factory and is largely dependent on the environment in which the bushings are stored. The dissipation factor will be high for human conditions or low if the air is dry. It is not possible to make an analysis of the moisture content because the software insulation model is only valid for oiled paper bushings so far, but at least we can assess the insulation conditions qualitatively. This can be used during the manufacturing process of bushings and also for other types of equipment such as current transformers. Returning now to the topic of power transformers. This is an example of a very old transformer manufactured in 1950 that has a high acidity in its oil. New oils usually have an acidity value of 0.01. The acidity in this case was 0.5, which indicates severe deterioration of the oil. The oil conductivity in the transformer was 1300 picosiemens per meter, compared to 0.05 picosiemens per meter for new oils. This illustrates how aging changes the oil conductivity, in our example, by a factor of 20,000. Aging byproducts such as acids increase the losses and therefore the conductivity of the oil. However, on this transformer, the degree of polymerization was about 600 to 700, which means that mechanically the insulation was still in moderately good condition. It appears that the transformer's problem was with the oil rather than with the solid insulation. Various techniques were applied to evaluate the moisture content. Dielectric response methods such as PDC, FDS, and Dirana. Oil sampling methods using the Ohmen equilibrium chart based on relative saturation and finally the analysis of paper samples taken from the transformer. The value of moisture content obtained using these methods ranges from 2.5 to 6%. How can such contradictory results be explained? Starting with the dielectric response measurement, the high conductivity of the oil suggests that a lot of conductive products resulting from the aging process are dissolved in the oil and hence will be deposited in the cellulose insulation. If the analysis software does not compensate for these aging products, it will give a value for the moisture content which is too high. This is the case for typical software provided with PDC and FDS measuring devices. Durana calculates more reliable results that are typically in a similar range to those from the paper samples taken from the transformer. Considering now the equilibrium diagrams. Unfortunately, aging makes the application of the old equilibrium diagram based on PPM moisture content impossible as it causes the equilibrium curves to shift towards the oil, resulting in an overestimation of the moisture content. The new shape of the equilibrium diagrams, based on relative saturation, indicates a moisture content of 2.6%, which agrees well with the value of 2.5% derived from the paper samples taken from the transformer and the Dirana reading of 2.9%. The conclusion to be drawn from this measurement of an elderly transformer is that compensation is needed to counter the effects of the byproducts created by aging for both the equilibrium approach and the dielectric response approach. Another example concerns a transformer built in 1967. The owner planned to transport it to another substation with the expectation that it could be operated for an additional 10 to 20 years. Before it could be moved, it was necessary to measure its moisture content to decide whether drying would be required. Again, both oil sampling and dielectric response methods were used to make the assessment. Through on-site measurement, the relative saturation of the oil was found to be 10%. Applying a new equilibrium diagram, 10% relative saturation at 30 degrees Celsius oil temperature indicated a moisture content of 3.2% in solid insulation. The old equilibrium diagram from Oman was also applied. Here, the reading of 19 ppm moisture content in the oil at 30 degrees Celsius indicated a moisture content of 4.2%. This value is much higher than that obtained with the new equilibrium approach. The dielectric response was measured in both the frequency domain and the time domain. 
This diagram compares the moisture content derived from the two different methods. This bar indicates that the result obtained from the Dirana for the insulation between the high voltage and the low voltage winding was 2.6%. By comparison, the insulation between the low voltage and the tertiary winding came to 3.6%. It can be assumed that the tertiary winding accumulated more moisture because it was not in service and hence was at a lower temperature than the other windings. The oil sample measurement based on relative saturation gave a value of 3.2%, which is a good average of the two Girana results and confirms that the oil sample based on the traditional equilibrium approach gives a reading which is too high. The last example concerned three new auto transformers. The measurement was made in the factory just after they were manufactured. This graph shows the dissipation factor of all three transformers. They all have dry insulation values between 0.4 and 0.6 percent. This example illustrates that a dielectric response measurement can also check the quality of the production process in a transformer factory, which proves that the evaluation is just as applicable to new transformers as to old ones.